Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. I just went for a swim at 7 a.m. and it felt so good. It's almost that I'm understanding why people get up at 5 a.m. to work out. 7 a.m. is two hours later, which I tolerate a little bit more. But yeah, it felt really great. It felt really good, not gonna lie. It's actually, I'm actually awake right now. I'm ready to get on my day. I've cooled down my body. Like right after I I warmed up my body because of sleeping. But yeah. Now I'm waiting for the elevator. But everybody's going to breakfast, so it's going down first. I'm on the eleventh floor, but that's okay. I have time. Good morning. I am in Da Nang, Vietnam, and this morning I decided to set my alarm at 7 a.m. and get up to the rooftop swimming pool. I always see people go for swims in the early mornings to fully wake up, and to be honest, the water was really cold, but it was so refreshing, and I really, really enjoyed it. I was all by myself, and it was so peaceful to have this me time early in the morning and to start my day like this. I felt very refreshed and very awake so I totally get why people do this and might do it more often. After my swim it was time for a shower to get all the chlorine out of my hair and to warm up a little bit because the water was very cold and at 8 a.m. an hour later I was fully awake and ready for the day so time for a cup of coffee. Another travel day. We are on Da Nang Airport. I wasn't allowed to bring my guitar, so I had to check it in, which is fine, but I'm a little care well, I'm very careful with that thing, so I hope they handle it with care. There's a fra there's multiple fragile stickers on it, so they should. And now we're going for food. where the Americans were during the Vietnam War and it should be very interesting. I am very in I am very excited in like the interesting way. I don't necessarily think that it's gonna be fun. I just think it's gonna be impressive. Oh my god, that was an early start from the day. It was the fact that I didn't sleep until like 12.30 um, was because I, which caused me to be so tired waking up at 6 a.m. But yeah, we're back from the tunnels, from the Kuchi, is it the, the Kuchi tunnels, I think. Um, at first I thought it was Suchi, but it's not. Those were the tunnels that the Vietnamese soldiers crawled and hid in during the Vietnam War. And the thing was, is that the war was actually between North and South Vietnam, between communism and capitalism, and America was the one who supported the South, the capitalism, and I think it was the Soviet Union who supported the North, the Communion. But a lot of Vietnamese were for the Communion, for the North, because um, Ho Chi Minh, which is the city we're in, but that was also a person, was kind of like their George Washington after colonial era. So um, that's why they all believed in what he was thinking and they fought more against the uh, capitalism than uh, against the communism. 
If there's anything I'm saying wrong, please let me know. Into the tunnels, we, we went in there um, and you had this hole in the ground, uh, this tiny hole in the ground. I will show like a video right now. And this hole was the end was one of the entrances where you could go in and the tunnel would start. Um, they had this uh, they had this kind of like lid that went on and you covered it up with leaves and then it would be undercover and no non regular trespasser would see that there is a hole in the ground that leads somewhere. Um, this was very I don't usually really have claustrophobia. But this was really intense and really small. Um, I am 5'11", just for reference. My brother, he is 6'5", he could not go in because he was too big for the tunnels. But the people who crawled in the tunnels back then, so the Vietnamese people, uh, men on average were 155 centimeters which is like 5'2", five 5'1", five maybe. And women were around 145 uh, centimeters or 145 centimeters around 4'11"-ish, 4'10", maybe. So they were they were tiny and they didn't have a lot of food. So they were actually tiny. They, they were like a little kid. Like they were like a little kid is now. So that put something in perspective and they have they made the tunnels bigger for tourists from the western countries and stuff because we're bigger people <laughs> so we otherwise wouldn't fit in them but so that's that's very nice of them to do that but yeah we also saw a bat we saw a bat we went like there was there's this whole underground system and at some point we came in the meeting room um and there was a bat on the ceiling I, i've never seen a real life one before it was a tiny one though but yeah now i'm gonna take a shower gonna take off my makeup and take put on my pajamas and chill because tomorrow we have another early morning because we leave for bali and i'm very excited for that but our plane leaves at 8 a.m and it's international so that means we have to be there three hours prior was just 4.50, no, 4.30 a.m. when we woke up and today we are flying to Bali. It is really early, however, I'm not that tired. But um, yeah, let's go to Bali. We are in Bali. We landed yesterday and I was very exhausted. So I'm doing a room tour now, the day after. The boys are, the boys went out to go get uh, eSIMs, which is what we use for uh, mobile service. And it's very handy, but let me give you a tour of our villa or like our accommodation. We have this like outside house and I'm gonna show you 
um, I was surprised at first, not gonna lie, but a lot of life is outside here, obviously, because it's always warm. It is, however, still a little, like, uh, it's like the end of the rainy season, so we do have rain from time to time, uh, a couple of times during the day. But I don't mind rain, actually. I kind of like it. It cools down a little bit, you know? So, gonna take a breath. And talk a little slower. Um, okay, I'm gonna give you a room tour. This is where me and my brothers are sleeping. Don't mind the messy bed. Um, this is our bedroom. And then here is our bathroom. Here is the bathroom. And then we have, here's the shower. And then obviously a toilet. And then here is our sink. And that's it, basically. Then, when we go outside, I'm gonna put on my crocs. We have these doors, and then we have this to prevent bugs from coming in. But you don't, you, you, you can prevent it and like lower the risk, but they will get in anyway. Okay. Going outside, putting on my crogs. I'm wearing pajamas, okay? I'm not gonna do anything outside of this house today, so I don't need to dress up. Um, this is our small, rather small swimming pool. It's it's perfect for cooling down, but you can't really go for a swim and actually get a workout done. But it's nice, and it's very, very cute and nice. And then we have these trees, these beds to chew in. That's the front door. And here we have our living room, but like I said, everything here is outside. So this is the wall. <coughs> Taking our shoes off. Okay, we have a couch, table, couch, TV, some nice art on the wall. And here we have the dining area, which is separated with this very cute sort of like hallway like this is a window this is not outside and we have the dining area here's the pool again kitchen area and that's it hello bali isn't this so adorable like we have this is literally where we're saying this is the house like bedrooms living room and kitchen area i love it i love it i also really need to wash my hair but I'm trying to extend it a little bit because I feel like I've been washing it too much. So I just want my natural oils to kind of do their work and then I'll wash it. You know what I mean? So, cause I, it, cause when I wash it often, it gets oily faster. So yeah, but it's Emma's birthday today. Um, it wasn't her birthday just yet, but it, Hey, look, I'm in the mirror and I'm in that mirror and I'm in the mirror in there and I'm there. It's cool. It wasn't her birthday yet, uh, but it just turned midnight in the United States, in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and she's 21! So yeah, that's very exciting. Okay, I am now going to record my podcast for the third time. Um, the first time I was a little too energetic, and the second time, or not energetic, but a little like um, too stressed. And the second time I left on my air conditioning and you heard it blowing in the background. So let's get started. I finished my podcast. <coughs> it's been a while so it's been a while since I had uploaded one. I usually upload or I uploaded my last two on a Wednesday, but Wednesday was a travel day for us. So I didn't do that. Or no. No, Wednesday was an activity day for us, and Thursday was a travel day, so I got to do it today, and I'm uploading it. So I am aiming for a new one in the next couple of days to kind of catch up. But you can listen to it now. It is, it is about if I have to change to become successful. My podcasts are available in English and in Dutch. And the links are in the description. So, listen to it.
If you want, I mean, I like them. There he is. I found him. Do you see him? He's been making all these noises the entire time. See? You stay there. <laughs>